how to uh, perform Rukia in the authentic way from the Sunnah. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We have a major problem in countries like in India, Pakistan, and very, uh, I'm sure there are many, many uh, countries. Uh, what happens, like if somebody is affected by an evil power or something, people are going to the peers and the sheikhs and the malanas, and especially for the peers, in order to get a cure of uh, of an evil eye or the evil uh, evil power, it could be uh, evil eye, or it could be a jinn possession, or it could be a jealousy, it could be an anything. But people go to the malanas who are not even authentic performing the rukiyas from the Quran and from the sunnahs. Now, what happens that they they use the the bid'ah way to perform the rukiyah? Because let's say for an example, if I tell you that okay, you have to take uh, this words and the, this word and that word, and you have to perform that in a specific way, in a specific time and the specific number. So just think that I am not an authentic because there's no uh, hadith that has been clearly said that there's a specific way to perform the rukia. In order to perform the rukia, the first condition is that people usually are being careless about that. Number one, you have to close all the doors of shayatin. Number one. Now this is something very important. I want you to share with the family and friends with everyone because this is something from the Quran and from the Sunnah and inshallah those who are being affected they will definitely inshallah be Allah, they will get a cure number one the person who is being affected uh, he has to close all the doors of shaitan now what are the, what I mean by close the doors of shaitan uh, there's a verse in the Holy Quran in the Surah Baqarah verse number 208 where Allah says Close all the doors of shayateen and put yourself surrender to Allah and how do we close the doors of shayateen which is affecting our life number one we have to close the doors of looking at opposite sex number one number two stop listening to music number three stop looking at bed stop music stop movies stop everything that is being affecting your soul and that is the dose of all shayateen and that is affecting your life number one stop the bid'ah rituals and the customs and the way of doing the ibadah from the Bid'ah because the bid'ah is affecting could be uh, one of the reasons that is affecting your life number one and also you have to s Stop listening to the music the backbiting the talking the bad bitings and looking at the bad things looking at the movies music on the TV on out of TV They fall into the same category that you're watching an opposite sex like this for uh, it's, it's forbidden Now when you close all these doors then we surrender ourselves to Allah and how do we surrender ourselves we need to make sure that the first condition it has to be met in order to get a cure from the evil eye uh, from the gene possession or from the jealousy from the hasad this is the only condition you have first of all you have to close the door is the first condition you have to close the doors all the doors that you let shaitan to come in and corrupt your soul and corrupt your mind so that's the first condition in order to get a proper rukia number two you have to surrender yourself wholly into the islam by following the commandments of allah and following the prophet complete sunnah and the complete sunnah means you have to do a five prayers and also try to wake up try to wake up into the tahajjah time doing some ibadah some zikr in order to do that you have to stay build a taqwa in yourself by attaching yourself to Allah so the number one was close all the doors of shayatin and number two attach yourself to Allah and now the process comes of how to do a rukia. the rukia is something very simple now many people will claim that okay I'm trying to do some rukia and it's not effective how would you let 
So how, how okay, let's say for an example, a person is watching a movie and who is doing the Rukia. Would you think that Rukia would affect, you know, it will not affect. What if somebody is uh, watching a non mahram uh, um, opposite sex and doing something forbidden things, uh, Islam going against Allah and the Prophet. Now how would you expect that the Rukia is going to affect yourself? So that's the number one condition. Close all the doors of Shayateen, which is from the ears, from your eyes, from your tongue, and from your nafs, and close everything, and then you surrender yourself to Allah completely by making a five times prayer. Stop from the forbidden things, make a five times prayer, making a lot of adhkar, like a lot of tasbih. Like how many times you do it, it does not have any specific number. Point to be noted, there is no specific numbers. The best zikr is la ilaha illallah. And then you can do a uh, tasbih of zikr uh, of uh, durud, which is Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammad, kama sallaita ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim in rahmatu majid. Then Allahumma barik ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammadin, kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim in rahmatu majid. Then we say astaghfirullah rabbi min kulli zamin wa tubalay. Also we can say astaghfirullah adubalay. Also we can say astaghfirullah alladhi la ilaha illahu alayhi alqayyum wa adubalay. So these are many of cards that you can continue doing day night and every after salah there's no specific time there's no specific number there's no specific way to do that but this is the way number one close your door all of shayateen number two surrender yourself to allah making a five times prayer on time and that's something very important when you when we say on time that could be very fast or could be with khushu khuzu and making a very making building a quality in your salah and making a quality in your ibadah with Allah because this is something the most number one priority in our life to, that we do a proper ibadah of Allah number and then we have to do a lot of his car like in the morning afternoon we already have all these things in us and now what to do in the morning time after fajr time after ishraq time and how do we attach with Allah now here comes the rukia the rukia the way to do the rukia it's very simple there's not complicated you don't need me you don't need no one else you can do by yourself or you can ask your family member to do that who has a taqwa and he will be performing on you or you can do by yourself which is more recommended preferable uh all you have to do is just make a recitation of a surat fatiha you can do odd numbers like 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, 25, 20. How much you can do? Make an odd numbers. As more you do, the more power you will get from that. This is definitely. But in, in the hadith, it says that you had to perform like a three times, like Surah Fatiha three times, and Allahu um, Ahad Allah, then another Surah Kul Awud Bil Falak three times, then Surah al Nas three times, and then Aitur Kursi three times, and then blow on your hand and just wipe it all on your body. This is the one way. The other one, the other way is to uh, recite the same thing every after Salah and uh, blow on a water. And when you say blow on a water, you have to uh, put a bit of spit uh, into the water like uh, you have to perform this way and other uh, also the idol kursi and each after each surah surah fatiha three times surah kulhullah three times and surah uh, al-falak three times surah al three times each after steps you have to blow into the water and drink a uh, one drop of one drop or something one sip or one completely into your mouth whatever you uh, you can do and also on idle kursi after three times you have to blow it and you have to spit a little bit and then you drink it and also you can and also you can recite uh, the last verses of the surah bakara which is aman rasulo um, then it's from the verse number 285 and 286 and also you can recite and you can blow on that and also you can recite and as I said these are the things you can perform continue regularly the more quantity you do the more uh, ibadat you will do uh, it will affect it, it will affect to have a more power like for example if you have a headache you take a one medicine if you have a more headache you take a two medicines so you have to get double dose so you have to have in order to have a more powerful rukia you have to recite more times more times 
until inshallah you get a cure this is a simple way to do that but if i tell you okay this is a specific number this is a specific time and this is a specific way to do that in order to get a cure this is all with that this has nothing to do with the sunnah you have to be on the sunnah track and you can uh, recite as much as you can but there's no specific time or anything you do as much as possible and try to stay in the wadu try to stay in the wadu all the time until you get a cure continue with that because maybe some patients will take a, a quickly they will get cured and maybe somebody will, will take a few days some of them will take a week or something it depends how the powerful the effect is on a person and this is the really a granted uh, guaranteed rukia that inshallah will affect it's from the sunnah but the condition of that was uh, to close the doors of the shayateen number two surrender yourself completely to allah number three then make a lot of iskar and do a lot of zikr do a lot of ibadah and then you do the rukia and inshallah you will see see the difference in within a one week or maybe quicker or maybe it's going to take a time it depends on how powerful the magic